Today on our 2013 Ford F-250 Super Duty Crew Cab, we're going to be installing the Clausio Custom Leather Seat Covers for the front and rear in gray. Part number L-EAFOB7215GGG. It's also available in beige, part number L-EAFOB7215TTT, and in black, part number L-EAFOB7215BK. Now here's what our seats look like without our Clausio seat covers installed. You can see how they're kind of dingy and worn out in some parts, and they're actually starting to wrinkle on the seat. And we've got the same thing going on here in the rear. And this is what it looks like with our new Clausio seat covers installed. It's a complete leather upgrade for your front and rear seats. It's custom fit to your F-250. You can see how it's gonna contour nicely and it even tucks in around the trim. We've got accommodations for our center console and our center seat. And we still have full use of our under seat compartment. It covers all of our headrests, front and rear, and it doesn't interfere with our seat belts. Here in the back, it accommodates our two cup holders. We can still fold up our cushion and fold down our backrest. We're not gonna lose our pockets either. It's made out of a perforated leather construction. It's breathable and has ventilated material that prevents moisture buildup to avoid mold and mildew. Underneath it has a half inch thick memory foam layer that adds comfort. It has durable hand sewn double stitch seams and it won't interfere with your seat airbags. All of the covers feature an antibacterial and anti-odor coating so it's gonna preserve the covers and have that new clean scent. They're very easy to clean. Just use soap and water and you're all set. Now that we got all the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get them installed. We're gonna be starting right here on the bottom portion of the cushion. You wanna make sure you have the right corresponding piece and you can find that in your instructions. We'll go ahead and turn it inside out. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna set it in place and we're gonna tuck in this tab between our seat here so that we can access it from the back. With the back portion tab pushed between the seat, we can go ahead and fold this down around the corners. We also wanna tuck the white string in between the seat along with the tab in each corner. That way we can access it from the back and tie it up. Before we tie up everything in the back, let's go ahead and take our included tool and tuck in the cover around our trim. You can use either end of the tool if you like, or you can just simply use your fingers. You can do this all the way around that there is trim. I've gone ahead and tightened up my string. I've made two knots. Now we can go ahead and fix the hook and loop here to underneath our seat. Give it one good extra pull. And we can tuck our string into the tab underneath. Just like that. Now we're gonna do the backrest portion here. So we'll need to remove the headrest. Just gonna squeeze on the buttons on the side and take that on out. Now once again, you wanna make sure you grab the correct piece. We wanna turn this halfway inside out. So I'm gonna reach up in there and grab the corners and pull it down towards me. So we want it to look like this. So we'll take our piece, we're gonna set it on top and then we're just gonna pull down evenly on both sides. As it starts to get a little bit more difficult, we can alternate sides. Once we get it all the way down, we can just kind of start tucking it in around the trim. And we wanna tuck this tab in between our seat here so it meets with the back side. Now, before we connect the hook and loop at the bottom, we can take our included tool and tuck in around our headrest connection here. Then we can come back down to the bottom and we're gonna connect our hook and loop here to the tab that we've pulled through the seat. So give it one good extra tug and then just pull it down and connect it together. Just like that, kind of start in the middle and then work your way down. Now for putting on our headrest, I've gone ahead and reinstalled the headrest to our seat because it's gonna make it a whole lot easier to install the Clausio cover. Now we need to determine which side is the long side and which side is the short side because it needs to match up with the long side and the short side on our actual headrest. So if you look at the cover, you can see that the short side is gonna be in the front here and the long side is gonna be in the back. That's what we want. 
So what you can do is kind of put it on one corner first, hold it in place, squeeze the other side into the cover. Kind of like that. Now it can certainly make it easy when pulling it down to kind of tuck in the corners. Once you get it most of the way on, we can then take the headrest back off and then connect the bottom. For connecting it, make sure to tuck in the two tabs on either side. The plastic strip here is gonna kind of roll over like this, so it'll have that finish, but it'll be within the channel here. So make sure it's all the way on. You can kind of stretch it over so it's easy to connect. And we're going to roll it over and kind of push it in place. So it's gonna look like that. Now we can just replace it and we can go ahead and repeat the same process for the passenger seat. With our passenger side done, we can go ahead and move on to our center seat and console. We can start on the seat cushion itself, grab your corresponding piece, we'll undo our hook and loop. We're gonna open it up and then slide it over the top, just like that. Now it's a tight fit, but you just need to get it down far enough to where the cushion starts going in more narrow. So just work your way down on each side. And the further you go, the easier it gets. The two tabs here, we can tuck between our cushion and pull out from the back side. Then before we finish tucking in our tabs and connect our hook and loop, we'll need to tuck the cover in around our handle here. Then we'll come here to the back and we need to remove this tab here. So what you can do is you can lift up and then just kind of pry it off. You can see our two tabs here. What we need to do is get underneath here and pull out the bottom portion of our tab that's gonna connect these two hook and loop here. With that back panel removed, we can go ahead and push our tabs through to the front side here, and then we're gonna connect it to the hook and loop here. So just go ahead and pull it nice and tight and then pull that down over top like that. And we'll do that for both sides. Great. With our cushion connected, here in the back, we can go ahead and replace our panel. So we'll make sure we put one side in first, and then the other side, and then kind of push it down back in place. Now let's move on to our backrest portion. So we'll need to take off our headrest. There's two buttons that we can squeeze on the inside and outside here. Then for our corresponding piece, we'll need to undo a few things here. We've actually got a zipper on the side that we'll need to undo. And then the bottom, we've got a hook and loop. Then we can slide it over the top and line up the corner over here. We'll need to go underneath our seat belt and kind of get it in position. And just like we did with the other headrest mounts, we'll just tuck it in and then we'll move on. Now let's go ahead and fold it down and bring around our strap here onto the other side. We'll work our way around up to the corner, just like that. Then we can raise it back up and zip it up. When we get it started, we can just kind of help it around as we finish zipping it down. Now up here, we'll take our tool and tuck it in around our seat belt, just like that. Now we'll need to tuck in our flap down below. So I'm just gonna tug it down and then tuck it in right here. Now it can definitely help to kind of fold it forward just to kind of create that space so we can easily tuck it in. And then we'll connect it underneath here. Now we've gone ahead and finished up and put our headrest in because it installs just like the other two headrests. With the front portion done, let's go ahead and move on to the back. For starters, let's go ahead and remove all three of our headrests in the back seat. We've got two buttons on the sides, just like we do the rest. We'll start with the double seat cushion first. We'll grab our correct piece. Let's go ahead and undo our hook and loop, turn it back over, and I'm going to slightly prop the seat up like this. It's gonna make it a whole lot easier to put it on. So I'll make sure the de-padded portion is going to sit on the actual seat itself. I'll line up my corners. 
and then just pull down on each side. I want to make sure that the hook and loop doesn't get stuck to the seat itself as it can make it a lot more difficult to pull down. Once we get it mostly on, what we want to do is tuck in our flat between the seats. So again, you want to make sure that the seat is halfway up because it's going to make it a lot easier to tuck it in between. And you want to make sure to go underneath your seat belts. Then with the seat still lifted up, we'll grab underneath and pull that tab through. Now what we want to do is we want to take the tab here and connect it to the hook and loop here. But before we do that, we want to pull up on the bottom tab nice and firm while guiding it down on the top of our seat. This is going to help tighten it up and it's going to make it a lot easier to connect. So we're going to do that all the way across and then we can finally connect it. Now with it nice and tight on top, we can go ahead and connect it together. So I'm actually going to start here in the middle, pull it down, and then work my way across on both sides. With our cushion installed, we'll grab our double back rest, undo our hook and loop. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and just tuck this behind my seat belt first. Then I'm going to grab my lever and then fold it forward. This is gonna make it way easier to get on. So we'll line up our corners like here and then down there and then just pull it on. Now in order to help you get it on the corners, in some cases it can help you to raise the seat back up slightly and then we're just going to pull it down as far as we can go to get that corner nice and lined up. So we'll do that for both sides. Now we've actually got a hole right here where our lever is gonna come through. So we actually need to have the lever pointed in the up position. We can pull it down and once we start seeing it, we can poke the lever through once we get it down most of the way, we can just engage the lever, fold the seat forward, and then pull down the rest of the way like that. And again, we'll just use our tool and get the cover around our headrest mounts. Now you guessed it, we're gonna tuck our bottom flat pin between our seat and connect it to the back side. So just engage that lever. This time it's gonna go above our seat belts. With it folded down, let's go ahead and give it a good tug here on the back side. And then if you want to, you can help guide it up from underneath. And then all we need to do is connect it to the hook and loop right here. So we'll start in the center and then work our way across. I'd say it's looking pretty good. Now we just need to worry about our cup holder here. Now tucking in our cover around our trim here can be kind of difficult so we're just going to take a trim panel removal tool and take these out here it's just going to make it a lot easier to tuck behind there then with it loose i'm going to pull back on the panel and then just kind of tuck that behind there where it needs to go all the way down it makes the process a little bit faster and definitely easier then I'm just going to put it back in place and replace our push rivets. And there we go. Now what we want to do is we want to fold our cup holder up slightly. And then we're going to tuck our bottom flap into this portion here. Just be sure to tuck it up where it pivots. And there are two more rivets down here that we can pop loose and tuck our lip underneath. Then I'm going to pry out on that trim and then tuck the cover underneath. And then just push it back in place. With everything tucked in, I'll just go ahead and replace my rivets. Now before we connect it, let's go ahead and tuck in our cover around our cup holders. That when we stretch it out, we know it's gonna be lined up with the back portion. We don't have to tuck it all the way in, let's just get the front done. In order to connect it easily, take one hand on top, one hand on bottom, and just bring it together, and then connect it directly underneath. Then we can tuck in the rest of our cup holder. And we'll work our way down, around, and then back up. There we go. With this being done, we can go ahead and move on to our single seat. That installs just like our double seat, and then we can do all of our headrests. 
Now for the top of our center console here, this just slides on. Our lever comes out at the top here and everything fits nice and tight. No hook and loop to worry about. And that's gonna complete our installation of the Clausio custom leather seat covers for the front and rear in gray. Part number L-EAFOB7215GGG on our 2013 Ford F-250. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.